All right, modeling the distributive property with mixed numbers. Um, when you get an expression like this, let's say six and a half times four and a half. Well, you can certainly rename these as improper fractions and multiply across and find your product. In this case, 6 times 2 plus 1 is 13, so we have 13 halves times 4 times 2 plus 1, 9 halves. So now all we have to do is apply the multiplication algorithm, which says multiply straight across 13 times 9. So 13 times 10 is 130. So 13 times 9 would be 13 less than 130, which is 117, and 2 times 2 is 4. Now to simplify this, we need to divide the numerator by the denominator, 117 divided by 4. 4 goes into 11 almost 3 times. Twice, you get a remainder of... 3, bring down the 7, 4 goes into 37, uh, 9 times, 9 times 4 is 36, we've got 1 fourth left over, so 29 and a quarter, the product, or the area of this um, would be 29 and 1 fourth square units. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the multiplication of these two factors using a rectangular area model. And how I'll do this is I'll use the first term as the height of my rectangle and I'll use the second term as the width of my rectangle. So, uh, bear with me here, I'm not using a straight edge because I'm holding the camera in my left hand. So I'm just going to start, let's say, about right here, and um, again, six and a half is going to be the height of the rectangle, so I'm going to go down six whole units here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then i got to go down another half of a unit, because it was six and a half that I'm trying to model, and then um, for the width, we're going to have four and a half, so I'm going to draw a segment that is four and a half units long, about right there, okay? So to finish off this rectangle, I just need to draw the other two sides. So I'm going to go down six and a half, and then down here I'll go across four and a half. Okay, again, so this is a six and a half by four and a half rectangle. I know the area of this rectangle, if I count the number of squares inside the red lines, is going to be 29 and 1 fourth because I've already proved that. But what I'm going to do is use the distributive property to break this rectangle up into four pieces and you're going to see by adding up the total area of the four pieces that it's equal to 29 and a fourth. Alright, so here's how we do it. Um, first, we're going to break up um, this rectangle into four parts. We're going to break it up right at um, the four mark up here, okay, and then right at the six mark down here. So I'm just going to draw a line that goes straight down where the fourth unit is, and I'm going to draw a line that goes straight across here where the sixth unit is. To be clear, I'm going to label this one half because it's one half of a, a unit long. And the same thing goes for up here. Okay, so I'm going to scratch out the fraction next to the whole number so it's not confusing. So now we have four uh, rectangles here. We've got a large one here um, in the top left flanked by two slender ones and then a tiny little square in the corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of these four quadrilaterals 
and they should sum up to my total area, which should be 29 and a quarter. So here we go. The area of a 4 by 6 rectangle is obviously 4 times 6, which is 24. 24 square units. Um, so over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 6 times 4 equals 24. That's one of my partial products. Okay, this rectangle here is 1 half wide by 6 units long. So to find the area, half times 6, just think of it as half of 6, which is 3. And I can prove that by adding these half parts together. Half plus half is 1, plus another couple halves, that's 2, and then another couple halves makes 3 total. I'm going to put the area of 3 right there. Okay, so i got to take care of this rectangle. It's a 1 half by 4. I'm going to write the expression over here. 1 half times 4. Think of it as 1 half of 4. It's 2. And again, half, 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 half. Those are all halves of rectangles. Or squares, excuse me. Um, the 4 halves make 2 squares total. And then lastly, I've got this tiny little uh, square in the corner. It is 1 uh, half of a unit wide by one half of a unit long. So it's a one half by one half and half of half or half times half is one fourth. So I'll write the area one fourth in there. Okay, so now I have the area of my uh, four component rectangles or quadrilaterals. 24, three, two, and half. So let's add them up and see. 24 plus 3 is 27, plus 2 is 29, plus a fourth. I have a total area of 29 and 1 fourth square units. I've used the distributive property with an area model to prove that 6 and a half times 4 and a half is 29 and 1 quarter units squared. Alright? Um, teachers typically will call this the FOIL method. All right, let me demonstrate that real quick. If you're not using an area model to represent your, your multiplication, you can think of it this way. FOIL, okay? F stands for the first uh, digits or the first um, parts of the terms that we have here. So I have 6 and 4 are my first um, digits in this expression in both of these terms. All right, O stands for outer. All right, that stands for the outer digits. So the six and the half. Technically, half's not really a digit, but um, for lack of a better term at this moment, six times half, again, three. Those are the outer terms. I stands for the inner uh, terms or digits. In this case, it's one half times four, which is two. And then finally, L stands for the last, the last digits here, the half times the half, which we already said was one-fourth. When you sum all these partial products up, you get a total product, 29 and a fourth, which is corroborated by the model and the expression up here. Hope this helps.